Hello everyone. Today I will discuss about this topic common errors in spoken English. For the speakers of English, especially for those who learn it as second language, have to face a wide range of problems. The problems are closely related to certain errors in the use of the language for communication purpose. For instance, grammatical errors come in many forms and can easily confuse and obscure meaning. The most common errors are with prepositions, subject verb, agreement, tenses, punctuations, spelling and other parts of speech. For example, so in this topic, so when we can put the for example, what is the meaning of prepositions, preposition. So how many types of prepositions, three. So that what are they called? Simple, compound and complex. For example, where we can use at, in. So that when we are very confused. And next one subject and verb agreement so verb agreement which one we call v1 v2 v3 v4 v4 nothing but v1 plus in form where we can use for example become became become which one we can use it to and next one tenses how many tenses we have past tense present tense and future tense when we are added the ed form when we are added the sres we are confused about the tenses and punctuation punctuation means where we get the how many types of punctuations we have? Three. Word punctuations, internal punctuations and into punctuations. For example, comma and full stuff. Where we can use comma goes to internal punctuations. Into punctuations goes to full stuff. So, when we are know the topic, we can use easily. Otherwise, we can so fail. Next, spelling and other parts of speech. Okay. These are very, very important. So, there is... Some difference between mistakes and errors. Mistakes are an accident that we know that it is wrong. But the wrong word slips out. However, errors are something we don't know. It is particular grammatical item that we have not learned yet. Or vocabulary that we have not yet learned. Here are some common errors that sometimes occur when the second language learners speak in English. So, second learner, who is second learner? So, one who learned the topic, that one we call second learner. So, here first one, old and long time. So, here we have the incorrect form and correct form. So, here she was my old friend. You may have known for a long part time, but she might be often if you use the word old as it implies age. As for example, old means how old are you? So, here we are referred to the age purpose. But here old means aged. But correct, she was a friend who have known for a long time. This is the correct way. Second one, alternative or alternate. Incorrect. We will alternative playing the video games. The salad is the healthier alternate. Correct uses. We will alternate playing the video games. The salad is a healthy healthier alternative so here we can see the two examples first one goes to age purpose second one goes to health issues purpose next one played as in having fun incorrect so if in reference to adults and if not in a sport or a game i played with my friends friday night so i hung out went out or had fun with my friends friday now this one is correct way Next, by my own, on my own, by myself. So, which one we can use? We don't know exactly. So, here, incorrect. I got the new job my own. Correct way, I got the new job on my own, by myself. Myself goes to reflexive pronoun. Okay. Next, in my point of view or from, in my view, in my opinion, these are called incorrect way. In my point of view, the language learning program really helps. Correct way. From my point of view, the language learning program really helps. Or in my view, the language program really helps. So, here we can form the from my point of view. And another one, really helpers in my view. So, with consonant practice and con concentration, one can overcome these errors. One should be aware of one's weak areas in the language and focus should be shifted towards such areas and use the correct ones again again and again will help us in speaking full 
less and fluent in english okay so next time you will don't do any mistakes okay thank you for watching